Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to my daily 10 a.m. video. I want to thank you for tuning into this video. Now look, when I say subscribe, it's not for my sake, it's for your own. I'm covering some of the craziest silver stacking content on YouTube and I can say that confidently. Uh, yesterday, I covered a video of the U.S. Mint Director talking about the silver shortage. Day before that, the below ground supply of silver versus the above ground supply of silver versus the annual global production and it literally showed when we will run out of silver. The day before that, the COMEX, someone on the COMEX tried to turn in a delivery, turn in their contract, and they got denied physical delivery. The day before that, Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars talks about on video why it's so hard to find silver, right? I mean, these are actual videos I'm showing. It's not just reading an article. Today, we're going to be going over why Big Bully and Banks don't want you to, to know these secrets, and we are about to uncover these secrets. So when I say, you know, when, I, when I'm saying subscribe, you cannot be blindfully and Investing in today's day and age too much is happening and you got to stay in the loop and I'm going to do that for you plus I do tons of giveaways dude I just did a 46k giveaway I'm about to do a 47k giveaway two winners per giveaways 48k giveaway 49k giveaway and a 50k giveaway so tons of silver passed out to tons of different people but the most important part is you're always going to get the newest latest freshest information in the world of precious metals now I'll shut up about that let's jump into this video so we, uh, we've talked before uh, quite a bit about precious metals, platinum, gold, things of that nature. Why the interest in silver? So silver is uh, cheaper than gold. That's one big draw is the fact that it's you know, running at about, at, at a current price, about $25 per the ounce with a little bit of change uh, on top of that. Uh, there's definitely premiums on physical silver above and beyond the actual spot price uh, due to the um, lack of availability of it. But a lot of people like it because they feel as though it can go to $100, $200 per ounce and they can make humongous uh, gains in percentage of, of their actual value. Uh, versus gold, which is going to cost them over, you know, closer to 1800 per ounce right now. Uh, they just feel as though they can get a lot of bang for their buck in that in that arena. So uh, they tend to have a lot more tolerance for risk as well because silver is definitely more volatile metal. It's more fun to watch, if you would. Uh, but that steady growth for people that long term, gold's still going to be, you know, my favorite product. But when you look at this for the average investor, there's still room for growth in this world as well. So they can make an investment and still earn money. I mean, that's the goal. Absolutely. And not only that, they can get involved at, you know, levels that aren't going to have to be, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a pretty good portion of silver in their portfolio. So um, it's definitely a really good metal for people that just want to have a nice hedge against not only the inflation, but also give them uh, somewhere better than cash to hold their metal. And I've got so many people coming in right now going, I've got all this cash and I don't want to hold cash because I know inflation is going to eat it up. What do I do? I suggest silver. So I just watched the rest of this video and he honestly doesn't say anything about some secret that big banks don't want you to know. He honestly just talked about his book and even when he tried to make points explaining why silver is a quote unquote sleeping giant like his book says, he didn't make any good points. He said that silver is more affordable so people like that. You know, and it's more volatile, so it's fun to watch. He didn't make any real points, especially what the video's titled. So I thought, you know what, I'm still going to make this video and just say some of the reasons that big banks don't want you to know about silver. Anyway, so sometimes, even like this guy says, he likes gold. He doesn't really care for silver. So you don't always have true silver stackers that are going to take advantage of the rising popularity in silver. I should write a book myself, honestly. I think I am. I'm not going to say the name of it because I don't want someone else to take it. But um, the point is this. The point is this. Silver is a sleeping giant. Yes, big banks don't want you to know about silver's true value. Silver and gold are a direct threat to the dollar. But guess what? Banks still love gold. The only reason the United States is the wealthiest country in the world is because we own the most gold. Yes, we determine a country's wealth off of how much gold. So let's take that perspective from a person to person basis. Yes, however much money you have in your bank account is irrelevant because we determine wealth off of how much gold you have. Now, silver, not so much. Banks don't care about silver. 
silver isn't part of money anymore. They don't consider silver money. They say gold's an asset, silver's a commodity. And I think it's flip-flopped. Silver is obviously a much more useful metal. Gold is used for jewelry, yada, yada, yada. But when it comes to silver, it's called the re the rebellious metal, the devil's metal. And banks don't like people taking the power away from them and putting it into your own hands. When you invest in the precious metals, you are in complete control of your wealth. So yes, they're going to call silver a bear market. Yes, they're going to make silver look like a bad investment because they're going to be pushing stocks in your face. They're going to be pushing you know, student loan debt, anything that's pegged to the dollar they're going to to push did you know in 2020 silver was the number one performing asset beating bitcoin beating tesla stock beating amazon did you hear about it i bet you never heard about that unless you watched my videos because nobody talked about it if it would have been bitcoin if it would have been amazon everyone would have talked about it but since silver was the number one performing asset in 2020 you didn't hear it anywhere crickets chirping now there's it, it it goes a lot deeper than that though it really does banks a lot of times especially you know jp morgan all they're, they're shady they're, they're very shady there's a lot of corruptness going on behind the scenes you have jp morgan who got caught spoofing placing false buy orders on these silver markets canceling the order before it goes through J.P. Morgan got caught with millions and millions of dollars in misprinted gold bars that were probably going to be sold on the on the black market. But not only that, they also have a lot of other illegal activity happening. Two of their employees got sent to prison for spoofing. And Ted Butler wrote an amazing article I covered on my channel a couple weeks ago exposing what's really going on behind the scenes. And it's not just talking about silver price manipulation from spoofing, but a lot of other areas as well. Now, since we have market manipulation, yes, prices are going to be held down, but that's, you know, that, that just like Ted Butler said, that can't go on forever. It's going to stop, especially, and I mean, especially as these new influences, the things that you can, the, the natural influences like supply and demand, the silver shortage, things that you can, that are out of your control, right? Banks can control the price of silver, just like in 1930. FDR got uh, got in office and he changed the gold to silver ratio from 16 to 1 to 75 to 1 single-handedly devalued silver himself. But when it comes to silver scarcity, when it comes to the U.S. Mint running out of eagles, when it comes to, you know, silver as a byproduct and, and the mine production getting cut back for the last seven years, that's not stuff that you can that you can try to hold back yourself. And the truth is coming out. And like Ted Butler said at the end of the article, think of the highest price for silver, double or triple it. And that's probably that's probably a, a good guess estimate now not saying that's going to happen tomorrow not saying it's going to happen next year not saying it's going to happen in in five years but silver definitely has some of the the it, it has the most potential out of any other investment period yes bitcoin is up there i just actually made a video talking about if bitcoin can replace silver it's another video i made and, and the truth is this it's silver's tangible bitcoin's digital they both go against the dollar so i wouldn't really Com, um, you know, compare them to e each other, but they go together. They they both have very um, very good benefits in just different areas. But anyways, uh, like I said, banks obviously aren't going to admit silver is a good investment, even though they need a lot of it. Just like Elon Musk with Tesla and, and SpaceX, he he needs a lot of silver right now. I actually made a video on that as well the other day. He needs a lot of silver. Right. Especially since all of the thing, all the companies he runs needs a lot of silver with electric vehicles. And if you think that Elon Musk is just going to come out and publicly say that, that silver is a great investment, that he's buying a whole bunch of silver, you're silly. He would never do that. Look what happened when he did that with Doge. He typed four letters, D-O-G-E, on Twitter and shot the the price of dogecoin up thousands of percent. Right. So imagine if he came out and, and talked about silver everyone would start buying it the price would explode and he would have to pay a much higher price to make the, to make tesla cars right to make electric vehicles so he's buying silver under the radar ted butler wrote him a, a letter a personal letter 
talking about why he needs silver. Someone else did as well. I covered it in the Elon Musk video. Um, but Elon actually wrote back to, I don't know if it's Ted Butler or the other person he responded to and said, thank you. And and you got to think of it. Like, he's a genius, right? Elon Musk is a genius. He knows what he's doing. He's a businessman. He's very smart. You know, especially since silver is, is one of the main components of everything that he owns and, and runs his business. And he knows what's up. He knows what's up. But just like big banks, they're not going to come out and publicly talk about this because that's just more people going into silver, taking their money out of from fake money into real money. Right. They want their money because when you are in debt, you're a slave to the system. They want you having faith in the dollar because the dollar is only as strong as people think it is. And if people don't think the dollar isn't strong, it literally isn't strong. It's all off of perception based. And that's a scary thing since the USD is the world's reserve currency. Everyone across the globe relies on the dollar strength. And this, this situation that's been happening for the last couple of years has exposed how broke we really are. And people are, even some countries are opting out of the USD being their currency, which is a scary thought. But you can see why banks aren't talking about how much you know how important silver is you can see why they 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 cut ties with it calling it money even though silver was literally money f uh, backed by u.s dollars and and for thousands of years silver has been money right it's just funny how that is um, but you know the reality is nobody of, of that type of nature from government you know or fed are going to acknowledge what real money is versus what they what they're trying to portray as money so anyways i'm going to wrap this video up here um sorry that video that i showed didn't go deeper i thought it would um but you know i still it still made a good point though it, it was still a great example to show sometimes you know people might ride the wave or sometimes when they have a platform you know and they're they're trying to to talk about silver not all the the, the main points are made and that's kind of sad sometimes because there's a lot of points he could have made that would pique people's interest into silver. If I was just a random investor and I saw that, it wouldn't make me go, wow, I should look into silver. Just talking about, oh, it's affordable and oh, it's fun to watch. No, there, there's some real points that could have been made to actually, you know, pique people's interest. But, you know, maybe that should have been my, me in that chair. No, I'm kidding. But, you know, regardless, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, this this helped you kind of see, you know, the, the reality of what's happening with silver, but also some hope of, you know, this can't happen forever. This manipulation can't happen forever. And, and if you don't believe me, I highly recommend going to watch the video with Ted Butler that I made because he talked about some of the, the, the craziest stuff, to be honest. I, I mean, I've covered a lot of different articles talking about manipulation and stuff behind the banks, but he made a lot of points that I didn't even know. And it was, I just keep referring back to that article in a lot of my videos because it really was shocking. Um, but anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. My next video will be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, so stay tuned. Um, I, I post daily videos 10 a.m., 5 p.m., 10 p.m. Eastern Standard every single day. Make sure you, you are subscribed click the bell so you don't miss any of my giveaway entry videos for a chance to win some free silver but also like i said most importantly most importantly get that daily dose of silver right the day and age of just blindfully investing is over you have to stay up to date and i'm gonna do that for you so yeah if you thought this video was educational informational or at least entertaining make sure to smash the like button if i were to write a book let me know if you would read it, right? Would you honestly buy it if I wrote a book, even if it was a digital copy? Would you buy it just to support the channel or, or even, you know, whether you're just supporting me or if you're curious to see what I could come up with? Because I think I could actually write a, a, a pretty decent book. I mean, I, I, I have a lot of stuff that I could say, honestly. I mean, I've been posting daily videos for six years. I mean, I think I can, I think I could write a pretty, uh, a pretty thorough book about silver. But, but regardless, yeah, I, I appreciate you for, for tuning into this video. I would love for you to participate after you like the video. You know, comment down below what you think about this. Why? Is, is there any points that I missed? Why do you think the banks aren't? 
aren't deeming silver as as money anymore, right? I would love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, because a lot of you know a lot more than I do, right? Just because I'm here making the video doesn't mean that I'm the smartest one in the room, because that's definitely not true. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. The link to this uh, video will be in the description. Thanks. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.